Now, Dr. Horton was speaking in the Senate on Friday. The collapse of a bridge in Portland has left residents living in fear. The residents are now calling for their local representative to address the problem urgently as lives are at risk, as TVJ's Shamela Pullen now reports. Trapped. Why? Things bad, bad around a Craig Mill, both be a Portland, you know, because the bridge locked down about one year now, and the little detour where they make free water wash away yesterday. That's the cry of residents living in Craig Mill, Belvedere, and Whitehall in Portland. Their only means of getting to and from their homes gave way on Friday after flood waters. Now they go back to using this partly collapsed old rusty iron bridge, putting their lives at risk. My grandchild, them run out of the house, their mom come for them. And they have to stop down here and call, call, make a phone call and them turn back. Because they can't drive down to the bridge, nobody not take no chance. And them, they still have to try and use it now, so it's so bad. The residents also complained that taxi drivers refuse to go into the area because of the poor road conditions. If I even go out at night to church, as long as it reaches like 8 o'clock, I cannot get home. And I have to pay extra money. What's the normal in. fare to come in? The in? normal fare to come in is $300. So if you have to get a, if you have to get a chartered vehicle, what's a fare like to come in? No, normally it's $100 for fare, but if you're chartered, $300. Mm. We are tired of it, right? We are very tired, and we don't want them to come and push any riverside again to put anything. We need the bridge, nothing but the bridge, because that's only what can stop this water when it comes because it's revised like the devil when him rise. Councillor for the Buff Bay Division in which the areas fall, Dion Hunter, says plans are in place to replace the bridge. She's calling for residents to be patient. The bridge has been sore sometimes, so I know the Member of Parliament will still best he can hurry up and to get the residents more comfortable. I know they are devastated now, but I'm asking them to just just know that the, um, the Member of Parliament is, is a caring person and he will get something done as soon as possible. Miss Hunter did not give a timeline when that will be in place. Shamela Pullen, TVJ News.